Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the Grid Culture. Uh, before we get this video started, make sure you hit that like button and please, please hit that subscribe button. If you like the com content and want to see this channel expand more. But other than that, let's get into it. Let's talk about Antonio Brown and his shenanigans, man. Uh, I mean, what more do you say about, you know, these nutcases, man? When people show you exactly who they are, guys like, you know, Antonio Brown and Kanye, and they just keep repeating the, repeating the same actions over and over again. And now I'm not saying Kanye's a piece of shit like Antonio Brown. I'm not going to put him on that level just for Kanye having uh, having an ideology or having his way of thinking. Not going to, you know, none of that. Uh, but he's inconsistent. A lot of the stuff he does, like the, the whole saga that he had going on with his, you know, uh, Kim Kardashian and his family and all the stalking and calling out on social media and all the random shit, the random posting that he does on there. But then he'll come out, he'll do some ignorant shit, get everybody's attention. Then he'll do an interview um, and say some very profound things. But then it leads to nothing. He won't build upon it and he'll just go back to doing uh, more BS. The guy has a mental problem. And he's shown you this over and over again. It's who he is. Antonio Brown is a total piece of shit. And we should, when we've, you know, we've known this for years. I knew it. The thing that solidified it for me was what he did with uh, Juju Smith Schuster. When, you know, Juju looked up to him. And Juju Smith Schuster seems to be a nice guy. Now, I don't know these guys behind the scenes or anything like that, but he seems to be a. Pretty nice guy. The guy makes those cringe TikTok videos and shit, but seems to be a nice guy. And he looked up to Antonio. But the second he started getting some fame and having good production and had, you know, better numbers than Antonio Brown, uh, receiver one type of receiver one type of numbers. Uh, and it was due to, you know, all the attention that Antonio Brown was receiving from the defense. So, of course, it opened it up for Juju Smith Schuster. Uh, but because of that newfound fame that Juju was getting, Antonio decided to attack him in the media and started literally the definition. Everybody talks about hating nowadays, but this is exactly what Antonio did. Straight hater shit. That's when I knew like this dude is different. He's not who I thought he was. He went all these years, man. And he seemed like a pretty cool guy, Antonio Brown did. You know, hardworking dude. You can respect his work ethic, man, his game. You know, one of the best receivers in the game. And he always seemed, you didn't hear much from him. Uh, but it was when he got his contract is when these issues arise. <laughs> Hell, they like to dismiss that perfect hit, but shit, it seems like Around that time, too, around when the money came and when he caught that perfect head injury, <laughs> you know, seems like he contributed to it. The dude got knocked stupid and has been acting a fucking fool ever since. This recent crap that he's got going on, that hotel pool thing, man, that was over in Dubai, butt naked, jumping with his ass in the air. And judging from the reaction of the woman, it was un. She, it's, she didn't want it. She rejected the advances, and then he's grabbing her, and other people just sitting around laughing, and he's grabbing her, and she ran off. She got across that pool fast too. <laughs> just look at the video of how fast she got across, got away from him. She was on the other side of the pool in less than three seconds. She was not comfortable. That was not a consensual interaction right there. And he's grabbing her and pulling her toward, her, toward his dick. And then exposing his stuff in the air. Now he probably, even if she were to press, I don't think she's pressed any criminal charges. And even if she did, he would have to face that in Dubai. So there's nothing that can be done to him in America. But 
you know, his 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 career as far as he he better hope something pops off from the rap. His career as far as of course we already knew football was done. It was done when he uh did the jumping jacks off the field at MetLife Stadium. But everything else, all his endorsements, everything, all that stuff, man, sponsors, you can kiss that shit goodbye. And, you know, maybe he could go away for a few years and then, you know, reinvent himself, go quiet, then come back with a podcast or something or find something, go away for a while. Maybe he could get sponsorships and whatnot and <laughs> reform himself. But you know that's not going to happen. This fool cannot stay away. He craves the attention. This motherfucker thought it was about him. He thought that he could come back. He literally was in the interview saying that, you know, they asked him, is he going to play next year? And I'll play if I decide to. He thought that's how it worked. And then, <laughs> and then at the start of the season when nobody's, um, nobody's vying for him he's asking he's asking questions he doesn't understand why nobody's offering him anything you've used up all your bridges you've burnt your bridges and you a 35 year old uh receiver at the end of the line so not only does he pull this crap at the pool in dubai but then he starts disrespecting tom brady once again this is the dude who gave you chance after chance. He 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 had your back. He lobbied for you. Had you come to New England. He wanted to play with you. Got you another chance after all the all the bullshit that you stirred up in Pittsburgh and, and then went to Oakland and stirred up crap and you know getting into it with the owner and calling him a cracker. But Tom Brady gave you another chance. And the Patriots and Robert Kraft gave you another chance. And then <laughs> you couldn't even wait. No less than a week later or probably a couple weeks later or whatnot. And then you see these text messages of you threatening one of your accusers. I believe it was a sexual assault case or whatever. Threatening and harassing the accusers on, on text messages. They had to get rid of you. You want to blame it on Robert Kraft. Brady gives you another chance. You know, you only get this many chances because you're that damn good. If you had no production or whatnot, that's how it works. Like Ray Rice, if Ray Rice, Ray Rice, when he was done, when the league got rid of him, he couldn't get nowhere. It wasn't because of his domestic violence charge or anything like that or the thing with his wife, the video. It's because the dude was averaging two yards a carry. His career was finished. Wasn't good no more. Teams are really willing to overlook that when your production is high and you can bring them success. And Tom Brady lobbied for you again. Had you come live with them. Got you on the team with the Buccaneers. Had you come live with them. You helped them win the Super Bowl. Good shit. And then you pull that crap. Pull that stunt. <laughs> that MetLife Stadium. Instead of just going off. And going off into the distance. What do you do? Now you throw him under the bus. Again. On a podcast. Throw Brady under the bus. You're a piece of shit. You are a piece of shit. Garbage human being. And now you're talking about you banged his wife. After he let you stay at his house and taunting him because of his things and his divorce that he's going through. Yeah, man, never, nobody's ever going to have your back again. But Antonio Brown told you and showed you who he was a long time ago. This is who he is, garbage human being. So, 
Let me know what you think in the comment section. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe. I will holler at y'all later.